Hey, 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 how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Give me one second. Pardon me. <laughs> Boomer move on my part. Today, we got a good one, you guys. I got a good one. I found a good one. <laughs> oh, welcome back to the Zoya Podcast, where we talk about books, brains, and blockchains, and everything in between. And today, we're going to talk about this ridiculousness right now which is the New York governor trying to require three years of social media history to, to obtain concealed carry permit. Dude, this is absolutely out of control. This is the darkest timeline. Holy cow, dude. Can you imagine? I never imagined a day in the whole universe where you had to submit your Twitter to get a gun. Out of control, bro. That is so wild, dude, for you to conceal carry your gun legally, legally, right? Even though it is your God-given right, you know, so long as you're not like a criminal, it's your God-given right, right? But nah, nah, not in New York. New York, they're like, if you don't show me your Twitter right now, <laughs> I want to see your Twitter, your 4chan. That's right, even your 4chan. It's just like, you people are weird. You people are weird. I'm going to say that right now. By the way, y'all notice she look a little bit like Nancy Pelosi? I'm just saying, Governor Kathy, she got a little bit of Nancy Pelosi in her. I don't know if they uh, groom these ladies to look like that, or if you have to have some sort of evil in you to look like that, or if it's all that Botox. I can't tell. (laughs) All right, let me read this new story for you, okay? I'm going to read it. And I'm going to try to be as respectful as possible, which is going to be impossible. But let's let's make it happen. Within an hour of the U.S. Senate, uh, Supreme Court uh, striking down a law which required New York residents to show, quote, proper cause to con- obtain a concealed carry license, Governor Kathy Hochul promised uh, legislati- legislation to counter the ruling. To that end, uh, Hochul on Friday signed sweeping gun legislation into law that adds several layers of red tape for those who wish to obtain a gun in uh, in the state including a new law a new rule requiring anyone applying for a concealed carry permit to submit a 3 year history of their current inactive and uh, of the current and inactive social media accounts the new law will take effect on September 1st 2022 i, I i'm pretty sure That's unconstitutional. I'm pretty sure. I'm like almost 99% sure that's unconstitutional. Um, But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Maybe maybe it'll go through. Maybe it'll go through. I don't know. Applicants for concealed carry permits must also undergo 16 hours of firearm training. uh, Provide four character references. (laughs) ever seen this is so funny and list the contact information for domestic partners or adults who reside in the same house are you okay dude this is so fucking funny i'm sorry part of my french i apologize but man i'm just oh man my size oh i wasn't prepared for this all right next one says potential applicants will also be required to show good moral character meaning the essential character temperature temperament and judgment necessary to be entrusted with a weapon and to use it only a matter uh, only in a manner that, that does not endanger oneself and others at a press conference regarding sorry there's a phone ringing <laughs> At a press conference regarding the new reg- legislation, Hochul said, We are creating a definitive list of sensitive locations where individuals will not be able to carry firearms. Dude, the whole moral, good moral character, this is so, this is so bad, guys. So much interpretation they're just leaving this up to. This is horrible. A horrible idea. You guys, you guys, um... New York is getting everything they deserve right now. I don't know. I just, whew, man, I, I'm so glad. I'm so glad to escape that hellhole. <laughs> and I like this. I like some of the people in this state. I, lo- I like a lot of the uh, um, smaller towns in the state. It's, it's nice. But the state itself, like the city, the main city and the 
and, and some of the uh, officials. It's just nah. It's a nah for me. Um, I just signed a new law to keep New Yorkers safe. No, you didn't. Even in the face of monumental setback from the Supreme Court. Thanks to Andrea and Carl, our uh, legislative partners, for your quick work and collaboration to pass these critical gun safety reforms. All right. Um, oh, this list includes schools, summer camps, libraries, daycares, parks, and playgrounds, places children gather, theaters, museums, entertainment venues, places of worship for religious observation, polling pla uh, places, education uh, no, institutions, and health medical facilities. They added that because of the katana, that, because of the, the, the wax. That's why. That's why they added that. Uh, federal, and maybe because of uh, abortion, maybe. That's why. Of federal, state, local, government buildings, homeless and domestic violence shelters, places where alcohol is consumed, <laughs> restaurants, bars. I mean, you already had restaurants and bars. I don't know why you had to write places where alcohol is consumed. Is there another place that's not a bar? And, and I can't think of another place, uh, a bar or a restaurant where alcohol is consumed. I don't, what would you? Anyways, that's, that's beside the point. Public transportation, buses, uh, subways. Uh, 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 or subway buses, uh, airports, and at and at public uh, demonstrations and rallies, and in Times Square. Another new rule is a default: no carry, no concealed carry on private property and business unless deemed permissible by property owners. Hojo said of this law: "We are making no open carry the default position for private businesses. That means any business, grocery store." Retail private home place that uh, wants to allow guns on the premises will have to demonstrate that and establish uh, that they put a sign out there that says concealed guns are welcome here. Um, I think that's about it. I mean, there's not really anything else that's of value in here. Um, I'm looking through. Yeah, this is wild. This is absolutely wild. I think it's, I think this is gonna explode. Um, when does this get? Re when did this get released? Was this a, a day ago? This is today. Oh, this is today. This is only a few hours ago. We'll see how it plays out. <laughs> we'll see how this plays out. In my opinion, I don't know if it will play out. I think it's too unconstitutional for it to, uh, um, for it to continue. Somebody will push back on it. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, it wouldn't be the first time uh, society went the other way and took a knee. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. Um, I think, uh, again, if you guys living in a leftist state, I highly recommend leaving. Absolutely leaving. This is not a safe place anymore. If you live in New York, move. 100% move. As much as I like certain uh, smaller cities and towns, and I do, there are some good places and there's some good people in there. But it's it's a wash. It is a wash, unfortunately. In my opinion... They should cut New York in half and let the leftists take one side and take and all the other normal people on the other side. And I think that would <laughs> we start splitting states up into minor states. That would be the solution, in my opinion. But whatever. Um, anywho, that's it for now. You guys have a great day. I'll see you next time. Take care.